Mary Richardson with Music Junkie Press. We're down here in San Francisco at the DNA Lounge. And I've got Ryan from Soil. Hello. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome back to San Francisco, actually. It's been a while. It's good to be back. Yes, yeah. definitely. We're excited to have you guys out here. You guys have been touring like crazy. We have been. This is our first time in the out west on the, on the new record. We've been looking forward to getting out here. It's mm -hmm. been a uh, long due, so we've been having fun. It definitely. Now you got a couple more weeks left on this tour. Right. And then you're going to keep touring again? And then you got a UK tour in fall. Yeah, we, yeah. we spend the next couple of months are kind of nice and relaxing. We've got yeah. some weekend warrior stuff we put together. Other than that, get some little home time, a little, little uh, TLC. Good. Much but, needed. Uh, but then we have a big run over in Europe and the UK and, and uh, to finish the year off. And we're always open. You know, we're always open to, to anybody that wants to drag us out and uh -huh. hit the road. So we'll see what happens. We're excited because Bull has been getting such great uh, airplay and everything. You've got the two the second song now, the hate song. Oh my god. Yes. Okay, best anti love song out there. I'm sorry. It's it's awesome. It's it's pretty blunt. Yeah. It is. <laughs> it's addictive. How did that come about? The song itself. Yeah, yeah. Just. But we wrote this album in a kind of a combination of ways. A lot of the material was written with. I was living in Baton Rouge, Louisiana at the time, for the most part. Uh, about half the record I was living down there, and the other part I was living in a small town in Lisbon, Iowa. And so there was that distance between the guys in Chicago and myself. So some of the albums written with Adam, Adam writing music, writing riffs and stuff, and sending that to me and giving me you know, something to throw lyrics yeah. on to. So bouncing back and forth that way. And some of the record was written with me actually going up to Chicago or over uh -huh. and spending some time with the guys, you know, locking ourselves up in a room and seeing what came out. Um, that was one of the songs where we were like all together in the same room together. Uh, I believe uh, Tim was messing around with his bass gear trying to get it all set up so we could rehearse and write some material. And Adam just started playing this annoying sound, this <laughs> harmonic. It's, he was like bored, he's like spacing off. <laughs> and he's just, nee, 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 nee. and I was just like, everybody's like, I'm playing. He sees the look on my face, look at him like, like stop. Yeah. Like, he's doing things. He's like, oh, dude, I'm sorry. But like, no, keep going. keep going. I got this idea for this just hate song that that would be just annoying oh. enough for it. And he's like, all right. And it just kind of spawned from that yeah. annoying sound that he made and the, uh, the, 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 the the little taste of hatred that I had in the back of my mind <laughs> at the time. So it, 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 it was a good combination. It is great. It The video with, with Shine on and that. Are you going to do a video at all next for that one? We were getting ready to do one right before we left on this run. Uh, we may do one now after it. I'm not sure. I haven't heard any updates on that. But the idea is to do a, a yeah. video for it. We'll see. You know, the, the the avenues in which it, videos do you good have definitely shrunk since since uh, MTV turned into I mean, 16 and pregnant TV. Yeah, exactly. And, and things like that. So you, know, you got to really judge how you use your marketing dollars. You gotta really be careful how you spend it, and uh, that's that's one of those things where you have to kind of weigh: is it is it is the weapon worth the price to to manufacture? And so we'll we'll definitely chew on that, see what comes up with our options, and see if we jump in. Awesome, that's good. We're looking forward to. Now, what do you like to do when you're off time? When you when you're not touring, you have a couple months to. Uh... I try to get out and see the kids. Uh -huh. um, I do that every chance I can. And other than that, I just I, I chase the better half around Louisville, Kentucky. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Now we're looking forward to, to seeing you guys back out here as well. So, so after the UK tour, are you guys going to come back out as well? Being yeah. Here? We. The thought is, at least the, the, the consensus right now is that we're going to go three deep single wise mm -hmm. on this record. So we'll probably start the next single late summer. Uh -huh and then be working that one until the end of the year and then into the, the new year. So we'll be out on the road probably up until probably about mid-year next year. Because you guys do everything from a festival. We saw you at Aftershot last year. It was awesome. And then to, what do you prefer? Venues? Festivals? They both have their pluses. love hate relationship with both of them. You know. They both have their pluses. Mm -hmm. it's, you know, we, with the big festivals, we're playing in front of a great big crowd. It's a whole different feel. 
and but then you have your smaller venues where there's more of that intimacy. Yeah. And uh, sorry, I just had some pizza. It's not no. screaming, it's like fighting. It's like, I feel like that commercial right now is. <laughs> <laughs> um, but the uh, it's they both have their pluses. Yeah. It's nice on the smaller crowds to be able to jump out there and or just reach out there and be able to shake the hands of the people that's allowing you to do what you do. Uh, but there's also that thrill that you dreamed of as a kid. You're looking out, there's thousands of people out there. So they both definitely have their places. And you have a new thing. That's the great thing about it. That's the you do. Is you catch somebody who's out there who's not have seen the record before, and they're leaving lifetime fans after that. That's yeah, I, great. The, the same pizza that's killing me right now, I was over there when I was getting it. Uh, just got my hands full, a couple of big slices of coke. Somebody leans up and says, What's your name? And they go, oh. They saw us at Aftershock. Oh, the first awesome. time they had seen us, so they, uh, they came here for this show. I love and, that. Uh, so those are definitely great tools to build a fan base when you get a chance to play those big shows like that. And you guys do, you guys do. shows in Germany in between every show back in the day in between every show you're lucky to do for golf time. <laughs> you would have a full room and they just didn't care. They would come and see you get they acted this they just didn't care that you were there. And we were getting ready, we were doing a festival in England and we we're getting ready the next show was a festival in Germany and Dave Williams the original singer for Granny uh -huh. person they're talking he's like, So where are you off to? And I was like, uh Germany. And he just starts laughing, he's like, man believe it or not because someday you're going to play there and they're going to love you and they're always going to have your back and that's all. And I just look at it like you have three heads. It's like, you know, and that next show was that way. It was 120,000 people. And they, they, they sang every lyric to every song. You know the Del Popolo? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And ever since then, during my time away from the band and now that I've been back, it's, we go over there and it's a sold-off show after sold-off show. And that's special. He was right. He was, you know. When I, when I see him again someday, I, I will I will acknowledge his correctness on that. That is cool. That is very cool. But what about for you when you are playing live? What's your favorite song to, to play? Well, since getting back to soil, I mean, I think you got to point at Halo. I mean, it's that mm -hmm. song that, yeah, with Drowning Pool, you had Bodies. With, mm -hmm. with Soil, you got Halo, which is that song that you always have to play. And the band that has had to play it for 13 years or whatever, like, ugh. <laughs> But I had that eight years away from, from Halo yeah. where being back with it again and, and seeing that people still remember it and yeah. still love it, it's, it's a great feeling. It's awesome. It's in their heart. It's yeah. never going to get away from that. Well, like lastly, is there anything you want to share with our audience? Just a big thanks. I mean, we've been doing this now, just soil alone has been doing this now for 17 to 18 years. And to be able to do that, to be allowed to do that, for people to give it their time and, and support the music, come out with the shows, buy the CDs, all of that still have a job to do in this business, in this day and age, and the climate that this business is in is a gift, so just a big thank you from um, my heart. My kids who still think it might be a little cool one. Dad does. So <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, uh, it's an honor to be able to still be doing this. It's cool. Thank you. That's very cool because definitely it's been in our heart. People love it. We're going to continue to love it. We're going to keep catching you. And we'll see you definitely when you're back here again. Oh, thank you. Thank, thank you, you for uh, keeping us in contact with the people who get the job. Thank you. Thank you. Addicted to music and get your fix at Music Junkie Press.